Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is which two planets sometimes which is uh, their places in orbit. So here we have a side view of the solar system. I'm only including Neptune and Pluto because those are the two planets. So here we have the orbit of Neptune around the Sun and here we have the orbit of Pluto around the Sun. So as you can see it crosses uh, Neptune twice and sometimes it's actually closer to the Sun. You can see it from here. Let's say that this is the orbit and then this one can be something like this. So depending on where it crosses, it can actually go in front of, in front of Neptune uh, momentarily. And the last time it, they crossed, it was in 1999. And it's going to take like another uh, 228 years for Pluto to switch back with Neptune again. Now, the one thing to know here is that the orbital, the revolving plane of Pluto is actually tilted by 17 degrees, so they actually don't have any chance of collision, to be honest, and because of the way that their orbits work gravitationally. Um, the closest actual distance that they will get from each other is 2 billion kilometers, which is fairly fast. So we don't have to worry about Pluto and Neptune ever colliding. My name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is which two planets switch orbits in the solar system. Yeah.